You guys, eyebrows are having the best year ever. But a lot of us haven't recovered from the overplucking epidemic that took over in the 90s. Oh, yeah. I had those. Yeah, I did Girl, I, I look at my old picture, I'm like, what was I thinking? What were we all thinking, Lauren? <laughs> well, get your notebooks out, because we recruited eyebrow guru Joey Healy, and he is filling us in on how to transform our brows no matter your issue. Take a look. Do you know what the most important feature on your face is? It's actually your eyebrows. I'm celebrity eyebrow stylist Joey Healy. I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about the eyebrows, the hows of the brow, the do's, the don'ts, the tips, the tricks, the professional techniques. As we spring into summer, I'm gonna show you guys how to get those eyebrows into perfect shape. I wanna introduce you to my friend Jane. Do you notice something weird about Jane? No eyebrows. I mean, look how alien a face looks without eyebrows. Probably the only thing worse than having no eyebrows is having really, really bad eyebrows. First thing, way too thin. You can think of the 1920s Marlene Dietrich. It was glamorous then, it doesn't work now. Respect the brow and not torture the brow. And look at Jane, Jane doesn't even look happy. I'm not happy either. Let's get rid of that. The second worst offender, it's the Frida Kahlo, the unibrow. I also like to call it the open zipper eyebrow. It's when the eyebrow kind of looks like an open zipper. To make matters worse, this can sometimes be two baby caterpillars when it gets really full and you look like a human girl yeti. The silver lining in this shape is that you have a lot to work with. It's really gonna be easy to shape this brow by just separating it, lifting up that arch, tapering that tail, cleaning up a little from the top and the bottom. You can automatically see a difference in this brow. It's so much more flatter. Getting her a little bit more arch in here gives her whole face a lift. Now I'm gonna show you how to make all those wrongs right. This is Daniela and she's gonna tell us a bit about her brows. I feel like every time I get my eyebrows done, they don't really take the symmetry into consideration. One of my brows is way bushier than the other one, so the lines are never equal. When was the last time you had your brows shaped? It's been a few months. I always suggest letting your brows grow in for three to four weeks. The longer the better in okay. terms of getting a fuller brow to start with. Finding perfect symmetry in your eyebrows is really important. It helps your whole face look more balanced and it puts all of your facial features in harmony. First thing, where should they begin? It's the bridge of the nose. So you wanna take a tweezer or something vertical like a pencil and put it right up against that bone right there. Mm -hmm. That's exactly where they should begin. Okay. The next thing is where should your eyebrows end? The corner of the nose to the corner of the eye is the bare minimum that they should hit. You wanna get right in that area and you wanna make it out that far. And then where should the arch be? Two thirds of the way out. It's right at two thirds of the way out. You can kind of eyeball that, and that's where you're going to have the most flattering lift. Tweezing is really the best method here. Waxing, there's heat, there's chemicals, it's a little harsh. With threading, it treats your brows like they grow in straight rows, and they can often get even more asymmetrical. Tweezing gives you a little bit more attention to detail, and you're going to be so much happier with the result, and I know I will too. As you're tweezing at home, you really want to hold the skin nice and taut. I use a slanted pair of stainless steel tweezers, and then you want to firmly pull in the direction of hair growth. Some people are particularly sensitive to tweezing. You can use a product like Orgel, that's a numbing agent, and just put a little bit on five minutes before you tweeze, but it'll sort of numb the area if you feel like pain is an issue. Sometimes with tweezing, it's yes or no, and scissors give you the option for it to be maybe. With scissors, there's no need to be scared of them. You just wanna be very careful with the hairs you select. What you wanna do is look for those ones that are really rebellious, the ones that grow straight out, the ones that have a little curl to them. Often it's the hairs that are coarse that we need to cut. Everyone thinks that you get the most amount of lift in the arch, but in fact, you get it on top too. You want the line to incline and then decline. That little peak on the top will help give the brow a bit of lift and you can still keep it thick and have an arch. Now there's two major ways to fill in your eyebrows that everyone knows, that's pencil and powder. Pencil's a little bit more corrective and powder's more enhancing. Pencil's great if you have a hole, a gap, a scar. Powder's good if you have a great brow like Daniela has. You just wanna eliminate some of those small gaps and make it feel a little bit denser. This is my ash tone powder. It's really neutral. When it hits the skin, it turns into the perfect eyebrow color. If anything ever existed that was a universal tone, it would be an ash like this one. I use a stiff angled brush. I just go straight into the product and then I'm gonna go ahead and infuse it into areas of the brow that are a little bit weaker. What I wanna do is this. 
comb your eyebrow down to get it all out of the way. Go up, 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 and then down, 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 just to give you that additional lift. Then when I comb it back up, not only am I blending it, but I'm hiding it with the length of the hair that you still have. If you find yourself getting a little red or a little sensitive post-tweezing, just take a Q-tip and a little bit of tea tree oil, and you can just kind of put it through the top of the brow, the bottom of the brow, and all that redness will immediately reduce. You know, so, so good. Yeah, so good. You know, I love that he talked about threading because that's one of my preferred methods of getting Me my eyebrows in. You like them too? Yes, because if I wax, I, get, I break out afterwards. Me too, and it rips off my skin, so I love that. And I don't like the tweezers, it hurts too much. It hurts so bad.